Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Tota Maintenance YouTube channel. And here we have Toyota Prius, second generation. I will say the one which made Toyota the number one in Prius technology. And this one was towed. This one is dead. Completely dead. The people called and they said, hey, our Prius finally died. It does absolutely nothing. So, smart key, you don't have to even put it in. Why? Because it has a silver logo. If it was black, it's non smart. But just for the sake, let's confirm their complaint. It already should be making some noises, correct? I will put my foot on the brake pedal. Sorry for that sound. All that contrast. And I will push the power button. Did you hear anything? This is dead, dead. Let's go together in this video to show how you jump start that Prius if this happens to you. Sure. So what do you do here? You use your finger and you reach right here and there is a tab down here. And that tab, if you press it, it will lift this box. You can see the rats were eating this corner. It's unreal. So you open this uh, the relay and fuse box by pushing on the tab and it slides away. Here you have the diagram for everything. Again, I need to stand here on the side to cover the sun. So here you have the jump start terminal. This red area but you have to flip it over and this is your plus my friend this chunk of metal it's your plus and at the dealer where I worked the minus you are using the body of the vehicle and we agreed if the techs working together talking together we agreed the best ground was actually this not which is holding the strut, front strut. So if we will clip our jumper box to this. In the situations when the Prius will be dead and even more dead, this actually won't work. But let's see, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So I have a good clamp on that nut from the strut, the black. Now I can hook my positive to this rat. I already see the light. So this was this one is not a dead dead. The light indicates that jumper back pack is doing its job. I did the establish good connection. Sometimes you have to wiggle those claws, these clamps. But you can see also here, uh, you can't, but I can. There is already a rat for the door in the instrument cluster. So, putting the key, smart key in. Aha, that was a brief flash from immobilizer. Putting my foot on the brake pedal and I have the whole dashboard lit. And we have a triangle of death. Of course guys, I always tell you that if I try to film, something happens. Right now, we have a helicopter. Yeah! Let's go! Peter is filming. Hurry up! Everybody in the town, now let's have fun. He's trying to film video. I didn't do the entire morning any filming. Uh, the radio is off because it lost the battery, right? It's a triangle of death. I brought my small quick scanner and we will see if we can erase the codes really quick since I have established electricity at that 
12 volt battery. We'll just go and try to clear it. Yeah, I cleared that, but the triangle managed to pop immediately. It disappeared and it's coming to P3030. What is the other one? It's a P3030. This video changed really quickly, didn't it? Now we have a serious problem with P3030. If you look up the causes of P3030, that means there will be most likely interruption, complete interruption of the wires between battery cells and its computer, or there will be heavy corrosion. I removed already the paneling right here without you, and it was yesterday. This spare tire was floating in approximately three inches of the water and the small 12 volt battery was floating in approximately two inches of the water. So this was flooded due to the winter. You can see actually all these problems of that growth and it was leaking inside. <clears throat> And that most likely caused this serious problem. You can see even this is leaking. It has water right inside of the lens. So the next step I will do without you. The hybrid battery is coming out for total detail inspection. Did I mention the word rust before? I'm not sure if I did, but that will be actually the case here. After removing these, you finally understand how the water was filling this trunk completely. Look the path it was coming underneath that paneling, rusted this bracket to the pieces and it was coming down and filling this area and completely this one. This bracket on the other side, it's totally fine. So the Prius, it's nicely drying outside in the sun. Battery is in the shop. I'm wondering what you experts are expecting to see. And everybody has to understand and respect this sticker. And that sticker says that all of this it's only for certified Toyota certified techs who has the right tools. They are trained for that. So this is not DIY. I want to make it clear with everybody. I'm not encouraging you to do this. I'm just letting you to see what I'm doing at my shop. And this is what you can see when you remove the top cover. And I already looked at it. And I have uh, answers for P3030. So we will go look right now in very detail what is happening and where our problem is. I have expected some corrosion on the terminals, but I didn't expect so much. But it's not true. I did expect so much because I pay attention to what we discovered outside. I pay attention to the fact that the interior of the vehicle was basically sloshing water in the trunk right next to this battery. The whole winter it was leaking in. The water, the rains were really bad here in California this year and it was raining. I'm sure the shop saw a lot of water damage on the electronics and many problems which were related to the water. On this side I expected to find the damage. I expected that one of these wires which go up to the terminal right here will be burnt due to the rust. This one may be the worst, I'm not sure. Observe all of them. 
So I expect it there will be a damage physical and it will be visual enough and I will see if maybe just the wiring harness could be replaced. That was before I removed that top cover. However, the problem is elsewhere. It's the last place to check. I, on purpose, I already took it apart. I, on purpose, left it as a last item. It's not this huge rust around here. The P3030 is for lost communication between the computer, which is right here, and the battery. And now I will show you where the problem is. I didn't film for three hours. It was quiet here. After we saw the helicopter together, the moment I grabbed camera, the people with weed walkers showed up. It's unbelievable. I'm not making it up. So I zoomed out so you can see the whole pack. And now the arada comes the contact. It's the orange one right there, which goes to all these wires. I was just telling you. I expected the burnt one of them being burnt and damaged, if not burnt, damaged by corrosion. And then it will pop and it will be in two pieces, it will be no continuity, and that's why P3030 will be triggered. Well, it happened just on the other side. If you look, I already removed this connector from the computer. And I will show you the damage that is rust again. It's completely cracked, and it's in the pieces. Please excuse the shake. I'm trying my best to show you as best as possible what is happening here, what's going on, and do it as best as possible for you. So, again, look at the crack. It's completely broken. It was not just corrosion. I don't see the smoke and charring from electrical burnt. Maybe the corrosion split it at the end, but look at the computer. Right down there on the pins. Uh, well, can you see down there? You do. It's right down there, there's all corrosion. The pins may be damaged. That could be only assessed with removing of this computer unit, which is this one. All right. So this whole thing is the computer. It's attached with the screws. This side, which goes, there was a cable which stayed in the vehicle right here. Was electric connector that's still in the vehicle. That was where it goes to the other ACMs, but here the internal connector where the computer is mounted and these wires which are running here on the side I'm trying to explain it we have a serious problem from our point of view, the commercial what we do for customers guess what we will do well, we have to replace that computer I'm not going to play the games and trying to save this when I can see that rust all over it. It's everywhere. It's inside. I can guarantee you. And obviously it's not my fault that that vehicle became vehicle equipped with the swimming pool inside, which the owners of course weren't aware. They ignored that. They should know about that because the windows should be fogging from inside. But again, in the heavy rains, I didn't think of it. The vehicle was inside basically flooded, having all that moisture right next to the battery pack. All of this was happening on this side. This is towards to the back. You can see this is the disconnect, which is 
Is it with me or I was still with the vehicle? That's the main disconnect, so that's on the driver's side. And this is the mayhem we discovered today. Okay, everything has to go uh, the way I will be ordering. I have to make sure with parts that everything will be replaced. We will be not transferring anything from this pack. And of course, individual people who are doing that for themselves, they have option just replacing the computer and their wiring harness. They can clean corrosion from the terminals. But number one, I don't recommend you, I don't recommend you to do that from the liability point of view. This can kill you. This is not just a little battery. This is life-threatening object which can kill you if you will not have a knowledge how to safely work on it. So please don't work on it yourself. It's absolute opposite of all of my videos when I encourage you and help you to do maintenance yourself. Don't do this. We got very special trainings, long ones for this. Uh, you need a special tools and so on to be safe working on it. So I hope this will help people to understand P3030. The video was how to jump the Prius, but it ended up video for P3030. You can see and make sense of what it even means and what could be happening on second generation of the Prius. If you like the video, please give it a thumb up and stay tuned. I have way more coming your way soon. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, my friend.